Welcome to the GXDP300 training video on positioning for acquiring optimum TMJ images. It's important to familiarize yourself with the various parts of the system. Included are the rotating unit, column controls, touchscreen, easy position items such as the bite rod with attached bite guide, chin rest, head supports, hand grips, and positioning lasers. Finally, the exposure trigger, which either may be a handheld device or wall unit. The column control has the laser alignment lights button, up and down buttons, and a reset button. The touchscreen selections include projection type, body size, no dose simulation, and additional settings. Displayed are system status and dose information. Taking TMJ images. Set up the acquisition from within your imaging software. Prepare the system. Remove the chin rest from the support holder, then place the TMJ nose support into the support holder. Use the short nose support for large and medium sized adults, and the long version for small adults and children. Fully open the head supports. Place barriers on the head supports. Use the focal trough knob and position the support holder so that it is negative 5 for an adult and zero for a child. Select TMJ projection and patient size. Prepare the patient. Ask the patient to remove any glasses, false teeth, jewelry, hair clips, and pins. Place a protective lead apron over the patient's shoulders. Press the up-down keys to adjust the height of the chin rest so that it is slightly higher than the patient's chin. For open TMJ, ask the patient to open mouth as he or she approaches the unit. For closed TMJ, the patient should approach with their mouth closed and teeth clenched together. Ask the patient to step into the unit and grab hold of the handles and press their top lip against the top of the nose support. Press the laser button to initiate laser alignment lights. For mid-sagittal placement, verify that the patient's head is not tilted or turned to one side. Laser adjustments are made for closed positions as well. For TMJ horizontal placement, use the up-down buttons to bring the patient's Frankfurt plane parallel to the laser. If desired, laser lights can be raised or lowered before making adjustments to the Frankfurt plane. Carefully push the head support towards the patient. Rotate the head support knob clockwise to close temple supports so that they gently but firmly grip the patient's head. Verify that the patient has not moved. Looking at a fixed point in the mirror will help them remain still for the duration of the exposure. At this point, for a closed projection, ask the patient to clench their teeth. For an open projection, ask them to open at their widest. Move at least 7 feet away from the unit and protect yourself from radiation. Make sure that you can see and hear the patient during the exposure. Press and hold down the exposure button for the duration of the exposure. During the exposure, you will hear an audible signal and the exposure warning lights will come on. The rotating unit will move around the patient's head and then stop. When the rotating stops, the exposure has been taken. After the exposure, release the head support and assist the patient in getting out of the unit. Follow the instructions in the manual for decontamination of system parts. For more information on proper positioning and usage of the GXTP300, please consult the user manual. Thank you for watching and please visit www.gendex.com for more Gendex instructional videos.